so before I start this video, I just want to say it's like a month behind. Uh, I am side dressing corn now. Everything's planted and everything's sprayed except for maybe 60 acres. I uh, should start cutting wheat next week. So need to get the combine out and get that ready. Uh, it's turned way faster than I thought it would. Anyhow, these videos are really behind. Been a farmer first and a YouTuber like fifth. I'm gonna start paying somebody to edit these videos because I flat out just do not have time or the ambition. But I appreciate you guys watching, so I want to keep putting these videos out because uh, there's enough of a following. I feel like I should, um, but. I hate listening to myself talk. I hate editing videos. I need to sub that out. So I'm looking. Um, but I wanted to just give an update before this video starts that this stuff's way behind. I don't want you guys thinking I'm planting corn on like May 50th. So it's all planted. Uh, everything's up. Everything's looking good with the exception of some corn on the state ground. That place is just not the best farm ground. Um, it's very wet has a lot of wet holes uh, a lot of drown out spots a lot of uh, just poor emergence out there but everything other than that looks phenomenal uh really really happy with how the crop's coming along so anyhow just wanted to get this in here before i start the video morning she's a dirty gal but that ground was working up perfect last night Give it about a day to dry and should plant really, really nice. So I'm going to go air out some more till about noon and then um, probably jump in the planter and start planting this afternoon. I've got some ground that's been opened up for about four days now. It's warm and windy, but it's been really cloudy. So we haven't really had the sun, but other than that, conditions have been pretty good. All right. Well, the sun is shining got about 100 acres worked so we're gonna leave this whole rig and uh well we're gonna go get the planter and blue skies and good times jump in the truck here and go get the planter fill it up and see what we can't plant this afternoon um it should dry pretty quickly and the ground i'm going to plant first is already bone dry so uh, this state ground, I don't know that it ever dries out. Even if there was a drought, I'm not sure that it would be dry. Um, lots and lots of springs pushing up, but real disc did a really, really good job. So, um, I don't know. That'll plant nicely, but pretty good looking dirt to plant too. All right, I'm back in the hot seat and back in my happy place. Making a little bit of dust. This is very, very, very lightly tickled with the real disc. Cause this is a really steep hillside, but it was really, really rough too, cause it's always been a hay field. I know tilled beans into it last year and it was just rougher than all get out. So I lightly tickled it with the real disc. Um, I didn't really want to do that, but I was also tired of bouncing. So I did, but um, it's going well. Um, so far so good got about I don't know 10 acres planted or so but I'm gonna move from here I got about a hundred acre farm it's two roughly 50 acre fields go get them planted and then head out to the state ground and start planting that corn today so after the state ground I will be done with corn and life will be good so we'll see what happens disposing Hmm, that's kind of hot. Yeah, let's plant some corn. Oh, dry on top, crust it over, moisture right underneath. Freaking perfect to plant into. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now let's plant some corn. All right, well, we got channel and agar gold. Got agar gold in those eight. We got channel in those eight. And don't mind the muddy planter tires. I promise this field's bone dry, but that that was not. So I just drove through that, but I promise it's dry. It's like all of it out there is dry. It's the one wet spot that you guys get to see. 
you know, there'll be that one guy that comments if I don't mention that. Well, why are you planting in the mud? Well, because screw you, that's why. Because it's just dry ish. Most of it. That's why. But filled up. Ready to go. 100 acres. Bone dry. Well, it's not bone dry, which I don't want it to be bone dry. But yeah. Filled up. Got enough liquid and seed to do like 120 acres now. So life's good. There's 100 acres here, so that'll work out good. All right. We got our prescription loaded up. Now we're just putting in what hybrids are in the planter so we can keep track of that. Oh, come on. I know you're in here. We'll find it. We'll find it. That. That one's it. And that is in the left half. Okay. So we're ready to plant. All right. Dinner's here. Planting the way. Just a few more passes left. Plant perfect out here today. Couldn't ask for much better. And I got a double cheeseburger. Life's good. Thank you. Oh yeah. Red sun tonight. Shaping up to be a good one tonight. Beautiful planting. Beautiful field. Perfect dirt. Perfect seed. Perfect fertility program. Perfect chemical program. Now if we just get the perfect weather. Have it made. But uh. Right now I've got it made with a view like that. Got all the end rows planted all the way around the field. So we're going back and forth this way and then we'll be going back and forth that way and then back to this way by the time we're done. Lots of different AB lines in this field, but that's all right. We're getting her planted. 32.5 for the population right here, but it's variable rated, so it's changing all the time. had my wife run me back to the farm so I could get a pickup and that way I can leave the tractor in the field tonight and have a ride home but it's a little man's bedtime so I've got a curfew when it comes to calling for rides now because past a certain point when he's in bed she's not coming to get me so the drive back over here even smells like summertime spring whatever you want to call it Smell the honeysuckle, smell dirt being turned over, everybody's out in the field. Lots and lots of pollen. It definitely smells like it's uh, warmer weather today, but we went from zero to 100 real quick on the temperature scale. It was in the 40s and 50s and wet and cold, and now it's 85 and no chance of rain for two weeks. So one extreme to another. That just seems to be a uh, continuing trend every single year. Like, we don't get rain at all unless we get, like, a four-inch downpour. And I, it's just... All of our weather is extremes anymore. But we're back. That is one very lit-up tractor. And lit-up planter as well. It's got wing, wing lights, planter lights, whatever you want to call them. It's got lights. So, it's a very bright tractor. If I'd clean my windows, I could see a lot better. But, uh, it's lit. Let's put it that way.
So of course, being a millennial and all, me and a bunch of buddies that are all in the field right now from all over the country actually are all snapping each other because about everybody's playing right now. One of them just Snapchatted me and said that uh, his monitor, uh, he lost power. <laughs> he had gone around the field twice, which is what I do too. And that plants all the endros and then my row clutches know right where to shut off. Well, he lost power to his monitor and it lost that coverage. So now none of his row clutches will work. I said, well, I guess the only thing to do is shut your damn vac off to the planter and go around the field two more times and trick the monitor into thinking you planted the outside two passes. No way you got clutches or just don't use clutches at all. He said, well, I might have to do that. I don't know if it's worth that, doing that or not. I guess it would depend on the size of the field and how square it is, but he's in Kentucky, so I doubt his fields are very square, probably like mine. Well, I figured out why row eight's not okay, because row eight's empty. Row seven's not, what the hell? Yeah, they're all about there. So, Rather than trying to monkey around on the planter, I'm going to set it down and do a little bit of scooping. And uh, I don't, I'm no-tilling and I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it, but I only got like 10 acres in this field that I'm no-tilling because it's really hilly and I don't want it to wash and trying to keep erosion to a minimum and all, but damn it the rest of this field planted perfect and then this stuff here i mean it's not this is one of the seed trenches here and it's it's covering it and it's crumbling it and everything but i don't know i just i don't love it don't love it but it'll work it's gonna have to work because i'm not coming back for 10 acres but be a good little trial but no tilled 10 acres, so I don't know. I wish it was a little bit drier. That's the thing about no tills, it requires patience, and that's the thing about me is I don't have a lot, so I don't know. It's planting decent, but it could be better. Anyhow, let's scoop some seed. I've got more seed in the pickup that I brought here earlier because I thought I might run out, so go throw eight bags in and come back here and finish this up. See what I did there? I was trying to get you guys a time lapse of me filling the planter, but my phone fell off the truck, so yeah, you're not going to get that now. See, that's where I differ from other YouTubers. I'm not very patient when it comes to camera work. What you see is kind of not just what you get, but it's... Uh, what I have the patience to do. But yeah, enjoy. All right, so I got eight bags thrown in that are being disposed of now. Man, that planter's muddy. I don't like no-till. Like that's, that's not good. Which granted, I just planted through a mud hole, but I don't like doing that. Don't like it at all. That row, that row is not terrible but it'll get cleaned off tomorrow. Man, that got hot in a hurry. But threw eight bags in here. And, uh, oh dang, there. Threw eight bags in. Those row units are still good. So, got enough seed to finish up here. And then some liquid's gonna be the thing that i don't know if we have enough of or not it'll be cutting it close but honestly if i run out it's gonna be in the back of the field where nobody sees it and we're gonna call it a test plot so there's not i'm just running 618 i think it's 618.6 is all i'm running and i'm running like three gallon and then i'm running uh pivot bio so i guess i'd be short technically if it is what they say it is 40 pounds of in but I'm still skeptical on it until I see it work. So 
I'm not sponsored by anybody, any, by the way. So like if I say something about a product, um, it's not because they're telling me I have to say it. It's because that's what I think about it, whether that's good or bad. So there's that. But uh, anyhow, let's plant. There's another one done. And the good news is we finished up on some work dirt on that side, which completely cleaned the planter off because it was actually dry and like this no-till crap. I just, I don't think I've got the patience to be a no-till farmer. I don't. I know there's benefits, but on this heavy clay, I just, it's, I don't know. I have to see what the yields are like. This is not a good representation because I know it was planted a little bit on the wet side, but I did no-till some really dry dirt earlier this year, and I am very curious to see how it turns out. So, I've got like, I don't know, 150 acres of corn no-tilled in really, really good conditions. And I'm going to see how that turns out. And then I've got several hundred acres of beans that are no-tilled. Beans, I, I don't care to no-till beans, but corn, I just, I don't know. I'm worried about sidewall compaction with corn a lot more than I am with soybeans. But all the beans that I know tilled are up and look good, so I'm not complaining. But we got another field done. It's midnight, so I'm folding up, going to the pickup, and I'm going home. And we will resume tomorrow and potentially, maybe, just maybe, finish corn tomorrow. And then we'll have like thir between 30 and 50 acres of soybeans. Um that was gonna be corn and I'm switching to beans because I'm running low on 28 and it doesn't have 28 or any nitrogen down on it yet. And I need more 28 to side dress. Really don't wanna buy more right now. And uh, some of it was in corn last year anyways. So rather than being corn on corn, I'm just gonna throw it in soybeans. So anyhow, I don't know. The market right now, I can make really, really good money on 1550 soybeans and uh, sell them straight out of the field. I don't have the storage for corn anyhow um, to plant more and more than, I've got more corn this year than I've ever had. So I'm always short on storage anyways. So to go planting another 50 acres of it, 200 bushel corn, Hopefully more than that, really. My average anymore is up in that 220 to 240 range. So, I mean, at that, you're talking several thousand more bushels. And just logistically in the fall, it's hard for me to handle all that, especially not having a whole lot of labor. So, um, I don't know, beans just kind of make sense. Um, really the money between corn and soybeans right now for me on my own operation is kind of a wash so I just I don't really want to tie up more money and more nitrogen for the same end result so I don't know I right or wrong who knows corn might go to nine dollars and beans might tank it probably will because I planted 50 acres more who knows but anyhow that concludes this video if you watch this long and you're not already subscribe yes i said it i'm gonna be that guy i'll be annoying uh but uh if you haven't subscribe like the video and hit that bell to get notified of more of these planning videos which are soon coming to an end um hopefully a good day in a tractor cab makes for a really boring video for you guys i feel like because it's just me talking and rambling sitting in the tractor but if i'm not broken stuck something went wrong that makes good youtube videos when i'm just sitting here and everything goes good they're kind of boring but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will catch you next time and again same field yes the no-till was wet but that that was perfect perfect dirt to plant into I like, I like conventional tillage way more. I just, I do with corn.